I'm Mr. Jackson, Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. Well, you probably have noticed on your yard, it's getting a little crunchy out there using the sprinklers a little bit more. And just overall, it's just been getting drier and drier. We could use some rainfall out there and we got it this past weekend. Unfortunately, the timing was not fantastic. It did impact the Gate River run uh, through the mid to late morning hours. And although we picked up a nice amount of rainfall, we could use even more. And that could be on the horizon here over the next couple of weeks. Let's first off talk about the rainfall we received on Saturday. You can see a nice rainfall for some. In fact, Gainesville got three quarters of an inch of rain. Officially out of the Jacksonville National Airport, a little over a quarter of an inch. Craig, Ex Craig Executive on the east side of town, a little over two tenths of an inch of rain. But it gets lighter as you head into parts of southeast Georgia. In fact, look at that in St. Simons Island, only eight one hundredths of an inch of rain. And although we did get a nice rain, it's the first rainfall we've had of any real consequence since early to mid-February, and we could use more. In fact, look at these rainfall deficit numbers. You can see anywhere from around a third of an inch in some locations to upwards of almost an inch, including here, or close to an inch, including here in the Jacksonville metro area. But some good news, it looks like we may be talking about some significant changes here as we head into the next, say, one to two weeks. And we could really use the rainfall. In fact, for the year, we're two inches plus under in Jacksonville. So here's what's going on in the next six to 10 days from the Climate Prediction Center. You can see all of Southeast Georgia and Florida outlook for wetter than average conditions. What we think is going to happen here is the last, say, several weeks, especially through much of February, the storm track was well off towards the north. It looks like as we head into mid-March, the storm track may be more through the deep south. That would allow more moisture to develop and more rainfall across parts of Southeast Georgia and northeast Florida, some rainfall that we really could use because now the wildfires are beginning to increase. We've already had seen a couple small wildfires in the parts of Putnam, Union, and Columbia counties over the last week, and the wildfires are really beginning to tick up now in the parts of central and south Florida. So some nice rainfall will really kind of tap that down quite a bit and hopefully allow you to kind of shut down your sprinkler. So bottom line, nice rainfall this weekend. We need more, and that could be on the way as we head into the next one to two weeks. My assistant chief meteorologist, David Eckert, for Channel 4, The Local Station.